What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another uh, Alpha Frog Vintage Cube Draft. I just pull up a video of you to entertain myself. Your guy, I do that too. I pull up my own videos to entertain myself. And I'm like, this guy is terrible. I think maybe it's more of at the end of the round. Is yeah, I think that's true. I didn't want to admit that, but I do think that's correct. <clears throat> All right, so Mystic Confluence is beautiful. Underground Sea is just as beautiful. I'm really glad there's no Sylvan Library in here because then Stork can't tell me to take a Sylvan Library, even though I do like a Sylvan Library. I think it's just Underground Sea. These are the colors that do all the things you want them to do, you know? Verdant could come back. Mana Confluence could come back. I don't think Mystics. This pack is actually not very good. If you really cared, you'd take the library anyway. It's fair. Wow, this is this is a pack. Oh, wow. We have Flash, which I have grown to absolutely love. We have Misty Rainforest and Bayou. It, I think it's Misty. But boy, do I love a Flash. Boy, do I love it. Boy. Boy, oh boy. Gee willikers. <sighs> I think these are replaceable. I think this is not. I'm going to take the Flash. Flash does something. It's a thing to build around. Now we get to look for Flash. Flashy boys. Nothing here says Flash to me. Excuse me. I died. Um, Ophiomancer is interesting. Uh, Grave Titan. Sarah's Emissary. That's good to flash in. It's not. Venser. None of the lands here are that good. I also do just like Spell Pierce. I like Teferi as well. I'm going to take the Teferi. That was probably a... That was a Dark Horse pick right there. Eh, dark Slick Shores. Torsten is interesting. When it enters the battlefield, or the top seven cards of your library. Put any number of creatures in our lands into your hand and the rest in the bottom. So you get to look at the top seven and draw creatures and lands, and then you make seven one ones. I actually think that's pretty good with Flash. I'm taking it. Oh, a Tundra. A Tundra is very nice with a Teferi. Uh, yeah, that's a pretty easy Tundra. I really love these lands, too. I love that these are the dual lands in this cube. Retro Frame, the sweet OG. Although this isn't the original art, so that's interesting. Did I pass a Mana Drain? I don't think I did, but I'm very concerned that I might have. What? Super Brits, tell me I did not pass a mana drain. Did I get blinded by the Tundra? Oh god. Now I'm terrified. This pack is pretty underwhelming. We could unmarked grave. Black Lotus is good too. Leak, my fault. Oh, dear Jesus. I was like, what did I miss? What have I done? I like Unmarked because we can just toss this dude in the graveyard. No, we can't. He's legendary. It's worse now. Okay. Fascinating. This is why I don't like Unmarked Grave. It just doesn't, like, every time you think it hits a creature, it doesn't. It's only good with, like, Archon and... I don't know. That's it, maybe. Hangerback Walker is probably fine. I guess Mesmeric Fiend is decent. Let's take a Mesmeric Fiend, I guess. Oh, Scrubland. Wow, they're really putting us on the on the Esper lands. That's pretty nice. Um, yeah, that seems pretty good. Uh, 
All right, this is a start. Oh. Oh. What do we got? Skyly Apparition, Lotus Field. That's interesting. Consider. Lotus Field seems pretty good. Hmm, fascinating. Yeah, I think I'm just taking Lotus Field here. Sunny D, it'll burn your little butthole. I could have also taken Time Walk in that last pack. But I think Lotus Field is probably just better. <laughs> oh my god, Affinity, you are... God, every day I wake up and I'm like... Surprised that I don't pay Affinity anything for his services. Dark Ritual seems pretty decent. Yeah, I like Dark Ritual over, like, Elspeth. Dark Ritual is just Black Lotus for, for black, right? Ah, oh, yeah, Sunny Butthole. Sunny Butthole is my stage name. Oh, dear, that was loud. Oh, Kaito Dancing Shadow is cool. Virtue of Loyalty is interesting. Unburial Rites is fascinating. All right, whenever one or more creatures you control damage to a player, you may return one of them to its owner's hand. If you do, you may activate loyalty. So you get to double his loyalty ability. I actually think I'm going to take Kaito, especially with Dark Ritual. That's a turn two. I don't think Sarah's Emissary is that great. I think it's fine. Sure. Taiga. Toxic Deluge, that's just a that's just a banger. Yeah, I'm just gonna take High Tide, even though we're not playing it. Containment Priest came back. Nice to not have to fight against that. And Goblin Engineer. No retro frame, huh? Oh, there it is. <laughs> there, you, there you go. There's your little baby boy. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, what a beautiful day. Taking this black lotus. Putting it in my deck today. Oh, the one ring is fascinating. What kind of one ring shenanigans do we have cooking? Hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't think we have any, but that might be just fine. Let's put these in the... Gives us a little more space here. Hey, that's pretty good. I think we're just taking one ring here. Let's not be silly. That's a powerful magic card. Hollowed Fountain is good for our, our Manus. We also have Lion's Eye Diamond. I don't think that does anything for us just yet. Well, the Yawgmoth's will is fascinating. We do want more flashy boys. Solitude's good. I don't know if I'm double white territory yet. Could also take Tropical. Maybe just cast Torsten at some point. Rantic Search. This pack's actually pretty good. It might just be Frantic Search. We do have Lotus Field. Let's take Frantic Search. Like turn three, I guess maybe turn four because we have to have 
Lotus Field on three. So if we go turn four, tap four lands, Frantix, one of them being Lotus Field. I guess we don't have that many lands. We have two lands at that point, which is fine. Atraxa. I do like an Atraxa, and we are kind of all the colors of an Atraxa right now. Yeah, that's a that's a pretty easy pick. Oh, what a beautiful morning. Oh, Blightsteel. Blightsteel's pretty good with Flash. It's not that great. Uh, I don't care about Library. Thief of Sanity's decent. You can also turn one a Thief of Sanity with a Lotus. Mm. Yeah, I think that's probably the only reasonable pick. Again, like, we're very minimal white. There are these magic streamers now who play like rap music in the background. I was watching one and I was like, hmm. Yeah, I don't play any music because then I just get demonetized. And I'm making content is you're monetizing. Spara's headquarters actually seems great for us. I do like a Dak Faden, but we're not really Dacking here. Right, that's the thing. Like, if I played music or if you played music, you could just play the music yourself. I do like a Baleful Strix here. Portal of Phyrexia is interesting. If we had Tinker and not Flash, I'd be all over that, but we don't. I'm going to take Baleful Strix. We're also in great shape for a Fallen Shinobi, too. We got this uh, Baleful Strix and a Thief of Sanity to bounce. This guy can go over there. Underground Tundra, Spars Headquarters, Scrubbling Lotus Field. Pretty good for blue, black, splash, green. Vampiric Tutor? Yeah, we're just taking Vampiric Tutor. I've gained a newfound appreciation for Vampiric Tutor. Oh, it's kind of cool watching you with the Magnificent Seven theme. Yeah, that's that's what I usually have on as well. Um, I do like Lingering Souls. This pack's still good. Snuff Out, Reckoner... I don't think it's Ulmog. We're not reanimating or flashing that guy. I think it might just be Lingerers. What do we got here? A dam? Which could also be a damnation. Yeah, that's probably better than Condemn. Yogmoss will. We have Vampiric, Black Lotus, Dark Ritual. Interesting. I mean, it's better than anything else in that pack. We also have Frantic Search. We did pass a Lion's Eye Diamond in pack one, and we did pass a Tendrils here. Um, so this is sad. We're not going to be playing Fiery Islet, most likely. Vorin is double green and searches up forests, which we don't have. So I guess I'll just take Fiery Islet. Not great. 
Not great, Bob. But that's okay. You know, that's life. Sometimes you get a pick you're not gonna you're not gonna put in your deck. That's okay. And then sometimes you get more picks. I'm just gonna take this really late fiery confluence. I don't understand how they haven't demonetized you already because you hum the little mermaid an awful lot. <laughs> yeah, that's true, but they know the quality is not uh on par with Oh god, cyborg UEY. Oh, wow. Just not going to say anything. Uh, last pick, Restless Bivouac. <laughs> oh, boy. All right, this is 16. We do need some more playables. We took a good amount of lands. All right. One of three. Now give me a Time Walker and Ancestral. That's what, that's what Papa likes. Is that greedy? Maybe. Yeah, this is how it starts. Guys, you don't know. Once a song gets stuck in my brain, it's there forever. Okay, I do like a currency converter. Leyline binding is probably pretty good here as well. Don't care about brainstorm. I do like chart of course. I think it's just currency converter here. It both loots and makes you little threatsies. Plus, if we get, like, uh, Trinket Mage or Urza Saga. How are we winning these games? I guess we have a track set to just cast off of Lotus Field. Or, like, Fiery Islet. We could, we could, no, I guess we don't need that. We don't need, um, we don't need red. What am I talking about? Yeah, we got the headquarters. Got a Lotus. Lotus Field. What do we got here? What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? Proving ground? Not not great. Show and tell. Maybe. Minskin Boo. Really, really good. This card I like a lot. This guy's going into my cube. He's a 6 5 for 5. Whenever it deals combat damage to a player, reveal that many cards from the top of your library. Uh, then you can put a creature and or land from among them onto the battlefield. And then when he dies, you just flip it and then he comes back and. Spellseeker would be great if we had the cards I I want to have. I do kind of like Snappy Boy here. I do like Minsk and Boo a lot, but I feel like our odds of getting red here, red and green, are pretty bad. I think I'm just taking Snap. I think Snap is better than Spellseeker by itself. Would also not mind any of the creatures that let us 
flash them into play. <clears throat> well, there are none here, unfortunately, but Thoughtseize is super nice. Also goes well with Snapcaster. Brain Freeze. Could we be Brain Freezing? And what do we got? Lotus? Vampiric Tutor, Dark Ritual, Yawgmoth's Will. Can I see it coming together? I don't know. Frantic Search. You could search for Yawgmoth's Will. Am I that guy? More of a thought seize guy. I'm going to be honest. Oh, Gristlebrand. Oh, fourth year Lingus, though. Jesus, if there was ever a reason to splash red. Fudge. Ballista. Interesting. Also him to Torok here? And Urza's Saga? Holy crap, this pack is nuts. Wow, I actually... Do I just take fourth year Lingus and play it off like Restless Bivouac, Fire Islet, Lotus Field, Black Lotus? <sighs> yeah, I think it's I think it's gotta be. I, I think Gristlebrand's really good if we have a reanimate, but we don't. We just have Flash, which is not great with Gristlebrand. I'm taking that. Give me that Lingus. Oh, World Spine Worm. That's a flasher. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. Katie just tried to call me. But I was streaming. <sighs> God. You guys are getting this stupid song stuck in my head. This is 21. And I'm pretty okay with it so far. Ooh, I do like a force of negation. Animate dead. You would have been great a lot sooner. We also didn't even have to play the dam. I I don't understand might and weak stone if you don't if you're not melding it. You know what I mean? We don't have a ton of blue cards. Well, actually we have Kaito, Teferi, and Atraxa as well. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Is that good? I don't know. Is Lava Claw Reach is good? I don't know. Is it the best card in the pack? Do we have a way to discard Atraxa or Torsten so that I can actually... I think it is Animate Dead, actually. We can animate their guys as well. And also, if we, like, flash one of these two into play, we could just hit Animate Dead and bring them back, which seems pretty good. We can also discard with Frana Search. Yeah, that's actually... That actually feels correct. That actually feels correct, he said. <gasps> this is exactly what I wanted. Is this an 8th pick Fallen Shinobi? 22 plus 14... Is what, 36? No, this is a seventh pick, Fallen Shinobi, which is still very, very sweet. Yeah, I mean, with Lingering Souls, Thief of Sanity, and Baleful Strix, all to get in there, Fallen Shinobi is phenomenal here. A wonderful link. We didn't get any fetch lands. That's kind of funny, dude. You know, I'm tempted to just take Sacred Foundry. I don't think we're a Soul Herder deck. I don't think we're Minds Desiring. Yeah, I'm just taking Sacred Foundry here. It makes the Lingus better. It's like two of our Splash Colors as well. Man. This deck has a lot of power, but I wish it was a little more cohesive. But then again, we do have Flash with World Spine, Worm, Atraxa, and Torsten. And we have Vampiric Tutor to go get one of the missing component components. Fourth Aerolingus is right here. Oh. Where's the Lingus? I don't see the Lingus. Oh, 
I, I hate you guys so much. Um, I think it's just Brainstorm here. None of these cards are exciting. Not a big Brainstorm fan when we don't have any fetches, though. I do like Torok. Staff is interesting. Making tokens, we have Torsten, Kaito, uh, Lingering Souls. Colagon's Command, not bad, but I don't really want to dip that heavily into the... I do like Torok. I think it's Torok. Trium is okay. I mean, we already have... We're probably going to play either Restless Bivouac or... Fiery Islet. And I don't think I want that many lands that are coming to play tapped. Wow, the Brain Freeze came back? Boy, that's fascinating. I don't know what to make of that. Him to Torok? What in the earth? Okay, I'm probably not playing Brain Freeze. We're probably just going to be him to Toroking. <laughs> oh, God. Him to Torok with four cards in the pack is just criminal, man. What are you thinking? That's a recurring nightmare? Oh my god. What is going on? And we all know it. God, you're really being you're really being aggressive right now. Katie called and I didn't answer and then I told her I was streaming and she didn't say nothing. She hasn't seen her messages yet, so. Maybe we board the Deluge and play Recurring Nightmare? What are our disc... Sounds like a damnation. Sure. What are our discards? We got... Lingering Souls and Recurring Nightmare seems pretty decent. We can actually cut Deluge and this could be our 23. I don't know, man. This deck seems pretty good. All of our splashes are only one each. Like one red, one white. One red, one blue. One white, one blue. One white, one green. Uh, one green, one white. Obviously, we're never casting this guy. This seems pretty good. We also have Fallen Shinobi. We got the One Ring. Kaito makes drones. He also draws cards for zero. We could turn one a Kaito. Okay, so lands, we're going to play Lotus Field. Maybe we don't play Lotus Field. I like Lotus Field a lot better when I have ways to exploit it, but like getting rid of three lands that could produce different lands for a land that only produces one color in a, in a deck like this is kind of risky. Yeah, I think we're going to eschew... This guy's pretty good. Whenever it attacks, you put a 1-1 counter on a creature. So it's automatically a 3-3, three, three, but if you have somebody else, like a Lingering Souls token or a Thief of Sanity, then it gets a, it gets a counter. I'm watching you play Vintage Cube, so I don't have to anymore. Man, you know what? I'm glad to do the, the Lord's work. I do kind of like Fiery Islet, I think, better because it's not coming into play tapped. This feels like the deck... I do wish we had, I wish I, I almost wish we had a prismatic Vista here. He keeps calling it a Vista, not a Vista. Oh dear. Okay. Well, we are primarily black. Okay. So black sources, we have one, two, six, 
fascinating. Not as many as I was expecting. Lotus Field does let us just play World Spine Worm. It also does work well with the other guy. Dang. Uh, we're definitely not playing too green. I also don't even think we need a mountain. We have one red card we're trying to cast. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. And I think we do play Lotus Field. Maybe not. I don't know. How many blue cards? One, two, three, four. This is six plus Lotus. Didn't we also get it? Did we not get a talisman? I thought we got a talisman. I guess it would be here, wouldn't it? Why? Weird. I thought we did get a talisman. I thought it was like a blue red talisman. But maybe I'm just. Maybe it's just Grandpa's dementia. We get one more land. I think it should be an island. How many black is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, actually, maybe Torok doesn't make the cut. I don't remember us picking a talisman. That's good, because it's not here. If you remembered and I remembered and it wasn't here, that's worse for sure. Just checking to see if there are any dogs in here. Um, dude, maybe we just play Brain Freeze and maybe we find a spot for Yogmoth's Will because it's just free. It's just free real estate, you know? <laughs> what does that even mean? I just don't think we have it. Like, we don't have a lot of zero mana stuff. We don't have Moxes. We don't have a Lotus Petal, Mishra's Bobble, Sol Ring. Maybe we just had two lands, actually. I could see playing 17 lands and Lotus and the rest of the stuff. Yeah, I definitely think it's one and one. So one, two, three, four, five, seven blue sources, which is actually very good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight black sources. I do I think we can cut a swamp for a lotus field. I think it's just much better. It's good with what is it good with? Let's see what it's good with. It's good with anything that wants more than one color. So World Spine Worm, we could just cast at 11. Totally reasonable. It gives us any color. It's good with untapping with Frantic Search. That's pretty much it though, right? How many green sources? One, two green sources? And we only need green for the, for the seven drops. Red sources, we have one, two red sources. It, it does add another source for all of our different colors. I think we risk it for the biscuit. Let's try it. What the hell? Nothing else untaps lands, right? Like, there's no other interactions. Oh, Teferi untaps lands. Hmm, that's pretty good. So, I mean, if you get to go, like, Frantic Search, tap with uh, with Lotus Petal, Lotus Field, and then, like, untap Lotus Field to then, like, Fourth Ear Lingus, it's pretty good. I don't know. My, my big concern is that we have, like, our lands are Swamp and Sacred Foundry, and we end up sacrificing them for a Lotus Field, which only gets us one color. So then we're losing like our, you only have to sack two lands though. So our odds of being able to sack basics is pretty good. That's true. The UI has, it has done me dirty before. Simply having wonderful Christmas time. I hate you guys so much. Who started this? Was it Cyborg Yui? God damn Thank it. Thank you. God damn it. Oh, what up, Relaxing Sam? 
80 months, just 20 more until Disney. Is that a, is that our deal? 100 months and we go to Disney? All right, well, here we go. It's what I'm here for. This is a good hand. We get to go Lingering Souls into Fallen Shinobi. It's slow. It doesn't have our Sweet Dark Ritual. Or our sweet black lotus, but it does have the other things, you know. We're gonna play in such a way that we're gonna draw him to Torok next turn, you see. Or Thoughtseize. Either one's fine. Let's move this mic a little a little better positioned. It was all catty wumpus. The oneeth ringeth. Fascinatingeth. Well, this is definitely our or order of operations, as you'd say in the math world, you know. Okay, well. Bring it home. Thank you. If you counter this, I can just go as Miric Fee and flash it back, so I don't even care. Do what you want. You think they're going to bounce both of them? I don't. Who was that? Relax and Sammy gifting Cyborg Yubi? I mean, it's the least cyborg you could do is receive a gifted sub for the the, the madness that he's, he's put into my brain. Oh. Well, that's very good for us. Mill five, then return a creature card mill this way to your hand. Did they get one? They milled Forest, Nyssa, Utopia, Island, Hard Evidence. So they did not they did not get anything. I don't like having to play my land first. But I'm also not going to not play Fallen Shinobi because of that. You know what I mean? Here he comes. He's your best friend and mine. Let's hit an Ulamog or something good. It was an endurance and a maelstrom pulse. I can't use both of them, but I can use one of them. Might as well cast this guy. I'm going to put your graveyard back. Um, yeah, that's, I wish it was a Vindicate. Oh, well. Let's just draw a Torsten. That'd be cool, right? You get to flash that dude into play. Seven one ones. Okay, this is just a format. This is like Quicksilver Amulet. It just lets you put a creature from your hand onto the battlefield. I mean, I am concerned. Well, that's pretty good. Plus, we get the Mesmeric Fiend you. We're just getting a second hit with Fallen Shinobi. Good lord. Hammer, don't hurt him. Tear asunder. Hannah Green, Sun Zenith for zero. Let's, oh, I can cast it with the kicker. I don't need to, but that's okay. Um, I think I'm just going to leave this exiled. We don't have any zero mana creatures, right? What are these hits I'm getting, man? Um, do some Mesmeric Fiend here. Let's Lingering Souls and Mesmeric Fiend, huh? Let me see what you're working with here. Skydiver doesn't care. Rexage Kogla. Let's take the adventurer. Kapew. So what do you got here? You can play a land, and then you can play Skydiver Take Nothing, or you can play Rexage Kill Nothing. Yes, Elvish Piper, correct. You know, it's all the same. I mean, there are five as well. So they play a guy, they block here, they take one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okie dokie. We won the game. I don't think we want anything here. Damnation, Dam, Toxic Deluge, all very good against creature decks. Maybe Deluge? But I feel like we had more creatures than they did. I'm tempted to actually swap out Currency Converter because they did have both Rex Sage and Thieving Skydiver.
Actually, Containment Priest seems pretty interesting. We'd have to play around it, but if they're trying to monster manual things... Or maybe we just want Dam for, like, a Kogla. Yeah, that seems fine. It can also be... It's a Wrath or a non-Wrath. Seventeen lands on Lotus feels better. I like being able to cast my spells sometimes. All right, one time. Uh, we don't have a black source, but we do, oh, we have turn two flash into Torsten. Oh, I like that. Yeah, that's a keeper. Let me hit that Lotus. Hmm. This into this does nothing, so I guess we're just going to play Headquarters here. So if we go second turn Ritual, it gives us four mana, which means we can flash in Torsten and then do nothing else. I mean, if we hit, if we hit Animate Dead, it'd be sick. Okay, what did you choose? Black. So your Maelstrom Pulse is online. Maelstrom Pulse is actually really good against this, of course. It just kills all seven of the one ones. All right, they're just drawing a card. All right, that's not exciting. Yeah, I think we're probably just going to go Swamp into Flash and Torsten. But we can do it at end step. And then next turn we can just play Teferi. Yeah, that's pretty good. I guess that's as good as we can expect, right? Relax and Sam, have a good night, buddy. It's really early. You're going to bed at like 7 o'clock? Six o'clock? I don't even know what time it is. Okay. Don't judge me. No, buddy. Hey, man. No judgment. If you're tired, go to bed, buddy. Katie's home. I would not be surprised if she made an appearance. Oh, if you work from six to three, that's totally, yeah. Oh, wow, you're dazing this. That's really sad. Well, that's unfortunate. I guess we'll just play Teferi. Or we can play Thief, and then at some point, just flash this, just, uh, okay, hold on. One, two, three. This is five mana. If we play Thief now, it's got to be Tefri, right? They can't actually exile anything, so Tefri just takes two. I do not dislike that. You can also just get rid of this guy, and it's just a free tuck. Or we can start hitting with Thief. Hmm. The problem is if they play anything stronger than Tefri. I think we're just going to take... I think we're going to Tefri here. I do think we tuck here. They're not going to have a ton of mana. They're probably going to play... I bet they play... Uh, Under Mountain Adventure. What did they bounce with? Uh... Okay, so that was the same breeding pool.
Just the monster manual. Okay. Seems good. Okay. Black Lotus. So I can just hard cast a Torsten. Animate dead. Nothing in the graveyard, though. So that's interesting. So we'll play this. We'll play one. Two, three. We'll just play Thief here. Oh, they didn't do anything. Is this any time? Any time. All right, we're just going to keep drawing. Ooh, Kaito. Whenever one or more creatures you control to a combat damage to a player, you may return one of them to its owner's hand. We're definitely not going to do that. It's one artifact. One target creature can't attack or block until your next turn. Okay. Well, let's just get in there. Hard to say what they may have, but yep, it's got to be. Is, a, is it a thieving skydiver? I bet it is. It's a Kogla. Okie dokie. <laughs> well, I'm just going to kill an anime dead that. How's that sound? Not good because I don't have enough black to do both. Okay, let's see. Well, considering I actually can't do anything other than... I told you guys she'd show up. <laughs> I told you she'd make a creepy appearance. Hello, my dear. Hi. Um, what are we doing this turn? Are you busy? I mean, I'm in the game. I don't know if that's... Is that busy? Yeah. We can also just play Kaito and make this guy unable to attack. That seems good. Because it gets this guy down here. You get that guy down there. How was your day? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Uh, that good, huh? Things we could talk about later. Oh, we'll definitely chat. Hi, Super Fritz. Hi, Relaxing Sam. Play that James Q. Tuckman. Is that what, is that what Teffrey's called? Because he tucks them, you know? What do you got here? What is this? Well, that's real cute. Isn't that cute? It is cute. Hold on. You gonna show you wanna show people? Okay. This is a little it's a little Christmas ornament that Katie got off of Reddit. Or not Reddit, Etsy. And it's a picture from our wedding with the song Let's Get Married from Bleachers on it. We got a new ornament every year to document what we did that year. So we got this cute, it's like a vinyl record with a picture of us on it. It is indeed that. She found it and she was like, this one's cute. And I was like, okay, let's get that one. So we got I that one. I was like, this is the one. It was, in fact, the one. Are you winning? I know. Uh, I'm up a game and this seems like it's going okay. So this is round one. This is round one of the new, of the second draft. Yes. Goose. <laughs> that's yeah. what he played. Yeah, that's true. He did play that. Animate Dead is worse now, but that's okay. Oh, interesting. Interesting. So we can thought see, see what they have, and clear the way for a dam overload. Damn. An overloaded dam. Are they just gonna? Oh, they're gonna put a creature into play. Here we go. That's fine. So what do we get to take? Nissa or Nissa? Awkward. Mm. One, two, three, four. I think this one is better. Like, especially when they only have three lands. Hmm. This one just makes... Like, if they get a, another land, they just make five fives with this guy. Yeah, we're just taking this one. So we'll play this. One, two... Oh, I guess they're going to have it anyway with 
with this guy, right? Ten or more permanents. I have to go. Okay. It was good seeing you. I mean, I'm tempted to actually get rid of Teferi and just tuck, like, one of their cards. Like, maybe their Utopia Sprawl. So this turns into a land, right? Oh, that was quick. Just miscommunications. Miscommunications. So we know they have this one. They have one, two, three, four, five. Like, we can just tuck Utopia Sprawl and leaves them with nothing to do. I want to talk to Neon Tokyo really quick. Is that okay? You can talk to whoever you want. I would wait till the ad ends, but... But if he's a subscriber, then don't they have to not watch ads? Yes, that's correct. So he should be not watching an ad? Yes. Okay. Neon Tokyo, I'm so glad that my crochet pug is holding up well enough for the, for the crochet pug to go play with the big dogs. Faking them out and wrestling. We're just going to draw a card here instead. He wasn't talking about the crochet pug. He was talking about his pug. I know. Did you know? Yeah. Okay. You. Oh, you were joking. Mm -hmm. Got it. I'm in the game. Sorry. It's really, there's no, like a lot of okay. decisions. I'll leave now. Bye. Okay. Well, love you. Love you. <laughs> I'm Stuart. Bye, Stuart. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're going to make a guy or draw a card. I think we're drawing a card. None of these can die from, like, this Nissa's 3-3. Three, three. Oh, that's interesting. You know, interesting in the sense that, like, it doesn't do anything. Choose here for a good time, not a long time, you know? I really think I got the sport version. <laughs> Yeah, it's always going to get the sport model. They have all they have a higher horsepower too, you know. Okay, so they drew a Beseju and this is their last card. So they're definitely just going to cast Nissa, likely attack one of our two planeswalkers. Yeah, we can just F6 here. We don't have any responses. So they have no cards in hand. So we just have to deal with this one Nissa, which is fine. Yeah, I think this would have been worse. They would have played it for five. And it would have come into play with three loyalty. They would have plus it for four. And then they just make a four four and next turn make a five five. I think that's just worse. Especially considering they only have two forests right now and no cards to really take advantage of the double mana. But now they just have to figure out which. We can also just grab a Kogla and kill one of their lands as well. Which is pretty good. Lingering Souls. We can also just cast Torsten as well. Well, we can't do anything else with Teferi, so I might as well draw. Him to Torok. Okay, well, we're drawing a lot of cards that want them to have cards. Um, I think we're definitely getting Kogla killing this. Uh, one, two, three, big lings. Oh, uh, I guess we should have drawn a card first. Oh, that's not going to do anything either. That's funny. Okay. Well, we've activated both of those. We have plenty of blockers now. We get to untap two lands that don't do anything. I feel like this game is kind of locked up. They have to have 10 permanents to flip this guy? Okay, we just won the game. Fantastic. Wonderful. All right. Round dose. Uh, this hand's very good. I wish we could play the Sacred Founds around turn one, but alas, we're stuck playing Swamp into Baleful Strix. I'm playing Swamp because we don't want to get Wastelanded. 
Oh, got a little, mm, got a little, uh, little Shelly Duckers. Let's hit Dark Ritual off that and then Fallen Shinobi. Okay, well, that's... Dark Ritual or, or Lotus get us a turn three Kaito, which is kind of nice. Who's this guy? Fascinating. Well, nothing to do here. I think we're just playing this, keeping up Baleful Strix and Currency Converter. Oh, good. <laughs> That's a good card to know about, I guess. That's unfortunate. Oh no, an ad. Yeah, that's what happens when your your wife isn't subscribed to you, you know? Mm, discard Swamperino. This guy just means treasure if it's not a, if it's a land, right? Yeah, okay. So free treasure at least. Come on, something good. Frantic Searcherino. Let's search here, and if they want to like daze this, we can just currency converter. We cannot, however, avoid the miscalc, unfortunately, unless we played a land, but I didn't want to play a land. Unless we had to, because if we drew Fallen Shinobi off of this, or off of this rather, we could untap three, make a treasure, attack with Fallen Shinobi, and then take a land. But, I mean, there's nothing else I would have run into a miscalc anyway, so. Okay, they've taken four. Like, if we played this, we still get hit with miscalc. We, don't, we can't play this, so. Look at that, they're keeping their mana drain up. Let's hit that Thought Seize. That they have to... They have to get draining. I'm just going to make this now because then we get to untap it next turn and use it again. Plus you can only use it once a turn anyway, so... Love that they're using the Jurassic Park treasure tokens. Absolutely phenomenal. Sweet Swamp. What are we gonna hit today? Orcish Bowmasters, sure. Interesting. So now we get to play Kaito? Oh, Mesmeric Fiend. Um, I don't think we need a green at any point in the future. Sure. Thank you. Seems good. All right. Mm. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, though. I mean, they, they've taken nine damage off of their Dark Confidant. Oh, thanks, babe, for the resub. Really appreciate you. 
I think she's at her computer now because it's like impossible to use a Prime Gaming sub on mobile. I can I can tell where Katie is based on her sub. Oh, interesting. They didn't fall in Shinobi here. That's shocking to me. I guess because it keeps up. Weird. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Okay, so we're going to flash here. I guess we can use this first to see if we hit like a Torsten. Oh, that's interesting. Well. Boy, that's really rough. We're also one man away from just casting Atraxa too, but I kind of just want the cards here. Yeah, this is actually, we're in a pretty bad spot here. We're doing this now because they have... Uh, Okay, Lotus. Animate dead. Did we play a land this turn? Yes, that's unfortunate. Lotus field. Uh, Fallen Shinobi. And Lingering Souls, I guess. So we can just Black Lotus reanimate. Oh, that's pretty good. Um... What's the alternative? Snapcaster? Let me hit that thought seize. Nailed it. Thought seize. Ritual, uh, Torsten, we can cast, uh, Wondering, Torsten, uh, let's get an island, Recurring Nightmare, I guess, is that everything, six, sure, sounds good, I guess we can Ritual for three, or we can just Thoughtseize here. What does Recurring Nightmare get back? Nothing, right? Okay, yeah, we're just going to Thought Seize you and take away Fallen Shinobi. Oh, they don't even have the manage. Oh, they managed Rain last turn. Yeah, Fallen Shinobi's going to go. That actually puts us in a much better spot. So what other is their hand is Island Jace Expressive Tar Pit. Sure. Making sure I can't play a land or anything else here. Um, yeah, that's pretty good. I think we're just getting rid of... Island? Yes. <laughs> sure. They're also at nine, so they're just dead on board to... Oh, they're dead. They, they get... They're... <laughs> they go to one. Yeah, they're definitely going to expressive here. Wow, this actually... I We went from going into a bad position to a reasonable position, especially with the one ring that gives us protection. Attracts a not drawing you the cards is pretty good and we just win the game wow <laughs> oh boy so that turn was literally flash into atraxa atraxa hits lotus lotus to reanimate atraxa into thought seas into filling our grip with seven hands seven cards rather that's pretty decent i also kind of like damn here Seven hands. We filled our hand with seven hands. That's 49 cards. That's that good doctor math right there. Uh, what can we take out? 
Maybe a recurring nightmare. I feel like that, that match went fairly well. Probably as well as we could have expected. Okay, not the best hand, but we do have a Torsten and a Currency Converter. And if we hit any blue source, we can flash Torsten in. I'm going to keep this hand. This is the, this is the gamble. <laughs> also, just top deck of Lotus, right? Thoughtseize. Okay. All right, come on. Papa needs a untapped blue source. Dark Confidant again, eh? Oh my god, that's so... God. See, the problem is if you play this, it will force it you to sack itself. Because <laughs> it doesn't say other lands. So that's unfortunate. Guess we're passing here. They're going to hit Mana Drain off their Confidant. It's Shell Dock Isle, okay. I do like that. They're giving us openings here. Come on, Lotus. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Br brutal. They just got a discard here? Oh, they're going to fall on Shinobius. Well, thankfully, Torsten and Atraxa are gone. Hopefully they hit nothing good. Two lands. Fantastic. What's the most you ever lost on a coin toss? Land. Oh, that'll do, pig. Okie dokie. Artichoke. So we're sacking for blue to get flash mana. We'll use the green as well. Big old Torsi Warsi. I will not be paying. And now we get to find all the lands and creatures. Oh, that's a lot. Okie dokie. Uh, so let's go guess all of them, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six. Sure, just a good old draw six. Um, we're definitely going to play a black here. I wish we had more. Wish we had more land plays here, but I think we just have to thought seize. Or we can just play Thief of Sanity. That feels better, actually. Wait, 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 wait. Oh, no. Well, I guess we could... No, we can't make a... We can make a guy, but we can't do it. Uh, so I'm going to get rid of Headquarters and Island here. Oh, we could have still... No, we didn't, have, we didn't have a way to discard. Never mind. I was like, we could have still done it. No, this happens in the cleanup step. So you're not, you're not able to, like, discard, then tap this for a treasure, and then also Thought Seize them. But, I mean, this does feel like a pretty good recovery. Unless they go Fiery Confluence, deal two to everything, kill our currency converter. That would be sad, right? Baleful Strix. Long hair, don't care.
Okay. Two blue and a red does not scare me much. Unless it's blue, black. Oh, no. That's yeah, fine. Okay. Don't care about any of this. Let's make a treasure. We want all the mana we can get here. Oh, we just win the match. <laughs> Okie dokie. Oh, man. This deck has been sweet, dude. Wow. Missed like four land drops. Hit Lotus. Interesting. I mean, what would, what could he have done? We had one, two, three, four, five mana. We can go Thoughtseize, Fallen Shinobi, something. Animate Dead Torsten. Yeah, I mean, this, yeah, this deck is, this deck's pretty cool. Yes. Welcome. This is the new Vintage Cube round. Round three. I'm going to keep this in the hopes that we draw a white. We get to Dark Ritual Teferi out. Turn three Teferi is not the worst. In fact, you might say it's pretty good. Little, he's looking him, look at him comb his little beard. Turn one recurring nightmare with no way to discard a creature and no creatures is not as good. I'm actually kind of iffy on recurring nightmare and hey, we don't have a ton of discard outlets. Doesn't seem great. Yeah, Tarkir is great. Tarkir is definitely one of my favorite limited sets, and I top aided a Tarkir GP, so that was fun. Okay, so next turn we can tap two, Dark Ritual for four, play Lotus Field, and then play Teferi. Just kidding, we can't do that. It's don't have the mana for it. That's why it's awkward. Wow, that guy's just going out immediately. Oh, that's pretty beautiful. Well, that is fascinating. We also don't have a white source, so I think it's just Lotus Field here. Uh, what are we going to do? One, one, two, three, four, nothing. All right, well, Frantic Search would be sick. Oh, look at this guy. Eternal shitness. I don't need I don't need commas. That's just extra that's just extra work. Oh, well, that's interesting. We could um, So the problem is we need this for well, I guess we could just play Teferi here. No, we still can't. Yes, we can. No, we can't. <laughs> See, this is the problem I was talking about with Lotus Field, where like both of these need two colors and the dark ritual needs a black. So we need black and white and blue or black and red and white. And we just don't have access to all those things. We could just play recurring nightmare. It's not as exciting. Okay. Yeah. I'm sorry about the roller coaster. All right. Yep. That's it. So next turn we get either one of these, which is pretty good. What is this, three? We can use this for black, this for red, this for white. It gives us one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, which means we can fourth for... Okay, there's a lot of mana. I'm sure they have something in hand. Yeah, that's pretty good. Oh, that's actually fantastic, because we didn't really want that anyway. Oh, man, please attack with orc. Oh, my God. That's exactly what we wanted to happen. <laughs> That's, <laughs> wow. Okay, that's great for us. Because now we can go black for ritual, three white, red. This is five, which means we can go three here, one at face, and then keep one back. Dude, Recurring Nightmare did nothing. It was totally just bait. One, two, three, and one at face for the monarchy. Uh, we're keeping one back so that they can't attack us and take the monarchy. Because they have a creature. Creature. 
Oh, ignoble off the top. They have monster manual and witness. Okay, so they're going to witness back Nissa probably. Yep. Okay, so now we know they have Hierarch on top. So we know the both cards in their hand, Monster Manual and Witness. Do we want to vamp for anything? Interesting. We have four mana, five mana if we vamp. Flash doesn't do anything. Do we have like a counter? Oh, we can him to Torok them. Yeah, let's go get him to Torok. That's pretty good. And then they're just drawing ignoble hierarch with nothing else going on. Yeah, I like that. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> okay. They don't even want to see what I drew. That's funny. Wow, that's kind of weird. Um, let's bring in removal. I assume they don't have a ton of... Let's take out Recurring Nightmare. I don't think it's that good. I assume they don't have a ton of, like, removal of their own for our creatures. So bringing in Toxic Delusion Dam seems pretty good. <coughs> also, Containment Priest, when they have Monster Manual... If you toot, then opponent will sploot. I think that's true. You know, I've experienced a lot in my life, and I think that's I think that's a truism. Maybe we cut Snapcaster. He's a little slow. Yeah, this seems fine. Hmm. Uh Frantic Search discarding a track and then animating it seems fantastic. So I'm definitely gonna keep this hand because we can do that with one blue source or a treasure. So yeah, let's do it. Okay, that's cute. That's real cute, man. Okay, come on. I will also accept a black lotus. We'd have five total mana. We untap two, so we have seven mana. Yeah, that would be fine. We could even discard Lingering Souls and Lingering is Linger as well. I think that would work. No, we wouldn't have enough black. We'd have to use we'd have to use frantic search for well if we draw an island it would work. We'd have to use frantic search. We'd have to use lotus for blue though, which means we have one black, so we can only animate dead or lingering souls, not both. But then we'd be drawing. Um, the lotus and not a blue source. So, okay, well. Yeah. We just gotta hope we can survive till next turn. We don't have any lands to discard, but we could hit a land, we could hit a lotus, we could hit lotus field. Does that do anything? It does in two turns, not in one turn, though. That's fine. Okay. Uh, not a blue source, though. Actually, I'm tempted to discard this just so we can frantic search. Because it just doesn't do anything on the board. We could also discard an Atraxa. Make a guy animate dead the Atraxa. That feels correct. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, I'm going to say yes just to get the 2-2, two -two, obviously. Okay. Oh, we should have held that. Oh, that was bad. That was so bad. 
Yeah, because we're going to hit lands here, and if we hit, like, Lotus Field, it's really good. No, we didn't, so that feels good. Um, okay, this is pretty decent, actually. Planeswalker, Lotus. Want the blue, so we'll take Underground Sea, and then we get a creature. So it's either Fiend, Torsten. Um, I think we're just Torstening and putting it into play. Done. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Okay, fantastic. Apparently Lotus and Flash is really good. Thank you guys for watching. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on all the platforms and support the channel. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys.